Good evening. We begin tonight in Fruitland and a mother's emotional plea asking for her missing son's return home. The search for Michael Vaughn, the five year old boy out of Fruitland continues this week, 115 weeks after he disappeared. There's a new reward for information leading to Michael's safe return with a deadline of March 31st of next year. Fruitland police say they will not give up on the search until Michael is found. Our Tristan Lewis has been following this story since it broke. Tristan, tonight's, tonight, Michael's family, they broke their silence really for the first time. So what are they saying? What is their plea? So Mark and Kim, high emotions at the Fruitland Police Station today, and understandably so, as Michael's mother, Brandy Neal, asks everyone to continue searching for Michael. It has now been close to four months, and officers say they've received several credible tips that just don't go anywhere. But hope that Michael will be found continues on. It's now 115 days since Michael Vaughn was reported missing. 115 days of continuous search efforts. 115 days of community members sharing Michael's face and name. For Michael's family, it's been 115 days of unrest, just waiting to be reunited with their five-year-old boy. 115 days. 115 days. He has not been home. For one of the first times since Michael's disappearance on July 27th, his mother Brandy Neal is speaking out. She's pleading for everyone to continue to share Michael's story in the hopes any information leading up to his whereabouts may turn up. And we need every one of you. I need you. I need your help to bring my baby home. Neil describes Michael as a sweet and exciting boy who brings joy and love to not just their family, but everyone he interacts with. We miss his laughs, his smiles. We miss his hugs. Michael has a laugh that is beyond contagious. You can't help but smile and laugh when you hear his laugh. While looking at pictures of him that are used on missing persons posters, she can recount stories of the joy and laughter he brought. That smile was one of our most favorite camping trips. Without it, she says their family is broken. I need you to know how much Michael is loved. I need you to know how much he is missed. Neil feels that support people have given her and her family throughout the past four months. I want to thank all of the community and the extended communities and everyone who continues to keep Michael in your thoughts, in your prayers, and in your eyes. She feels especially grateful to the law enforcement agencies that have been working nonstop since July to locate her missing son. They have become family. And they are his son, too. So please, please, please help me. Please help me bring my baby home. Chief J.D. Huff with the Fruitland Police Department says Michael's family continues to be fully cooperative with law enforcement. He mentions that they work with them on a daily basis. Huff also says because they've done so many searches and haven't found anything, the chances Michael was abducted are higher. But Mark and Kim, nothing has been ruled out. Well, this is the first really publicly that they've even used the word abducted. So uh, they're leaning toward that or no? I mean, what, what was the feeling there at the press conference or that he just wandered off and somehow hasn't been found? There's just still a lot of search efforts being made. Uh, I spoke with J.D. Huff today at that press conference and they said they're really focusing their search efforts on that one to two mile radius where he was last seen. But just as the winter months start approaching, that search is intensifying. So like I said, nothing has been ruled out. Yeah, it's yeah. just heartbreaking. And they're not going to give up the search for sure. Yeah. All right, Tristan, thank you.